In this video, we're going to talk about textures and materials. We will see how we can create a PBR material using uh, PBR textures. And also we will see the difference between a displacement and a bump. So we will continue to talk about textures and see what different textures, type of textures are out there and how you can use them in your project. This is the scene that we previously used in another video, but I've added, well, I, I only have one uh, wall here. I simply copy this and make it three. So this one, it's a mirror effect material. This one here on the left will be my displacement effect. And this one is the standard bump map effect. And I've also added two lights here because when you use effects like bump and displacement, if you want to see it more clearly, you have to use lights in an intelligent way. So by pointing these lights here from the top to the bottom and going like really close to the wall. So this is the wall here in the section and these are the spotlights. Then you can enhance the effect uh, for both the displacement and the bump. Well, especially the bump, because the bump, remember that it's a fake 3D effect, while displacement, it's a real 3D effect. So the bump needs more the spotlight like that than the displacement. But usually you need to have a good lighting setup if you want to have nice results with materials and with the rendering. We already talked about that in the lessons concerning the lightning. If you want to get the 3D models that you see in the scene, we already use them previously, but if you are interested, just go here in the website 3dmodelscc0.com, you will find CC0 models, which means that are public domain, and you can download many different assets. And in my case, I've downloaded this virtual reality goggles and a desk and a lamp. There are not so many, so you will find them here. This, there's the lamp right there, and also the desk will be, I guess, inside the furniture. You can see here also, there you go, that's the desk and also other stuff. Now, about the bust, the marble bust, you will find this in Polyhaven. Just look for Polyhaven marble bust. And again, this is CC0, public domain, but let's give credit here to the author and also support this website. We already saw how we can download this models and how we can insert it in Rhino. But if you have problems, you can check previous guides, just search for them in the channel. And these are some textures, or actually these are some materials. This one, we used this one in the previous video. This is for a pavement, but you can also think this as an example for every texture. Just think as the textures as one single tile in a tile floor like this. Now, when you have tiles, you want to have these repetitions visible because you, you actually want to see the tile and the lines between the tiles. But for all other um, material, uh, especially something like bricks, you don't want to see like square tiles here. You just want to see these as um, continuous and never uh, and never stopping, so you don't want to see cuts or seams between a tile and the other. It all has to cover a large surface without having those cuts or seams visible. And this is the concept that I'm going to explain to you right away. So let's go to talk about textures first. Now textures are general in general are images that you can use. You can see here to apply them for to 3D models and also for other reasons for graphic design. So you have many different types of textures. They usually represent a particular material. So when you're looking for something more specific, you should look for the name of that material. Now also, there are different types of textures. I'm trying to explain to you here uh, the, the main categories. Now the first categories will be the texture let's call it tileable, so that you can repeat many, many times to cover large surfaces. 
And this, this could be tiles or could be, again, like bricks or carpet or uh, plaster or anything else. Now, when you search for texture that you want to repeat many, many times, just type seamless because this is probably going to give you better results without seams, which means without cuts between a uh, tile and the other. And also type the name of the material that you're looking for. Now, the best materials here, the best textures actually for the materials, are the ones that don't have like shadows or um, like writes, writings or logos or anything that could be repeated many, many, many times. You can see this one here. It has like a part where it's sh uh, more shadowy and the other one here where it, it's more bright. This is not good because those two effects are going to repeat ma as many times as you repeat this style. So this won't work. Now you have another option and that is with textures that you don't want to repeat. You just want to place once. Now, for example, if you want to place this wall just once, that's fine, but you cannot repeat it many, many times. And this is good, for example, if you want to create like a TV screen or if you want to create a picture frame or a poster or a billboard and so on, you, you may have, uh, you may apply any image that you have in your computer, actually. So if you want to place a texture just one time, you can use any image. And then we have like textures, environment textures, and these are used for the image-based lighting or HDRI, and we're going to talk about those later. We already talked a little bit about those, but we're going to talk again about those. And then we have texture unwrap. Now this is another category. Now this is for a particular model or a particular product where you want to create all the different parts all within one single texture. So it's going to appear like it's unwrap, like it's flat, but it's actually applying to a 3D object in all its parts. And this is what actually is happening here with the bust that we downloaded from Polyheaven and also other models. So here we have an unwrap texture. So it cannot be repeated. It's only to place one time only. And also I suggest you to try Armor Paint, which is a really nice open source and free to use software. Well, it's free if you build it, otherwise you need to support and download it. And it's really amazing to create a lot of different textures and bumps, normal maps, reflections, and so on. So it's really, really interesting. You can find the video course in our channel. And then you can see many examples about displacement and bump. What are their differences? Now, their dif the main difference is that bump is a fake 3D. You can tell that by the edges while the displacement is an actual extrusion 